Hey guys, it is Arika Misha, and we are getting ready to do what we do. We're getting ready to cook, and today on the menu, we have loaded spaghetti. Yep, you heard me right. Loaded spaghetti. So, let's get into our ingredients. All right, up front, we have my favorite, the Bertoli. The Bertoli olive oil and garlic flavor sauce is what I'll be using today. Bertoli. Gotta love Bertoli. All right, that's our Bertoli sauce. We've got our two bags of Rosina, Rosina, Rosina meatballs made with beef, pork, and chicken, the Italian style. I love those. Gonna give our spaghetti that real Italy taste. <laughs> All right, so we got two bags of the meatballs. We've got some Publix pepperonis. Publix pepperonis. You guys know I love Publix pepperonis. All right, and we've got the Sargento Hold Milk Mozzarella Cheese Shredded. We've got two of those. And we've got uh, some Publix Texas Toast Garlic Bread. Oh yeah, we ready. All right, and for our noodles, I'm going to be using, because I had two boxes of leftover noodles, I said, you know what, I'm gonna use my noodles. <laughs> Y'all know when you use noodles and you be having a little bit left in that box. Oh, that's what we're doing today, boo. That's what we're doing today. No need to use a whole new box when you got two half boxes. So, anyway, we're going to be using this leftover angel hair noodles that I have. Genius. I know. I'm a genius. And the spaghetti rigatti. Spaghetti rigatti. So, child, put on these, these spaghetti noodles, child. And the angel hairs, of course, you guys know it's like a thinner, thinner uh, spaghetti noodle. Anyway. That's going to add texture to our loaded spaghetti, so that's going to be good. Y'all going to see. So, and in the back back there, y'all, I just got my seasons lined up. I got some oregano leaves, Italian seasoning, parsley chai, uh, morning parsley, hey chai, uh, parmesan romano, and I got some regular seasoned salt so we can get the meatballs all seasoned up. Y'all better be seasoning y'all meatballs. Well, I know I do, just like you season your beef. All right, and we've got our pan that we're going to... um. Uh, put our, uh, you guys will see what I do with that pan. Uh, loaded spaghetti. All right. Y'all see everything I got. Let's go. Okay, guys, I'm back. I had already started panning up my meatballs. And I totally forgot. I said, girl, you're supposed to be recording. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, I got one pan of my meatballs already panned up. Now, when I season my uh, sauce... Um, that's how my meatballs will get their season. I mean, of course, meatballs already have their season. You know, like I got the Italian style, so they already got their flavor, but I like to uh, add a little flavor to my uh, sauce. And of course, you know, the sauce gets on the meatballs, so the meatballs get there, you know. All right, so let me go ahead, get this second bag of meatballs tray up. And I've got my oven preheated at 375 degrees. Just get these all flattened out and I put my aluminum foil down and I sprayed my aluminum foil with oil. You guys know I'm always uh, putting that oil down because the oil helps your food cook. All right, and let me get my oil. Let me zoom y'all in a little bit. Okay, good. And I'm gonna spray the top of my meatballs. Once again, to help the cooking process. So the oven's ready, I just heard it beep. Uh, 375 degrees. Uh, I'll put these in the oven for about 15 minutes. They're frozen, already cooked, so you ain't gotta cook them again. So, well, I ain't gotta cook them again. So um, I'll put them in the oven, I mean, but they are frozen. I'm gonna put them in at 375 degrees. I'm gonna put them in there for about 15 minutes. And I'll be back, guys, to show y'all next step. Okay, guys, I am back. I've got the sauce on. I've got it at a low, medium heat. We've got our noodles back here boiling away. They are pretty much almost done. They've got about two more minutes. I set my timer for seven minutes on the noodles because I've got two different pastas. So I've got them in here for about seven minutes. And that should take care of both noodles. Angel hair doesn't take long to cook at all. All right, let's cut down our sauce. 
Our sauce is starting to boil, so I'm cutting that down. I just wanted to get my sauce nice and hot. And as you guys can see, our sauce started to boil. I'm gonna go ahead and get my sauce seasoned up. Let me, okay, I'm gonna go in with my Italian season. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of Italian seasoning because our sauce is already seasoned. Don't get me wrong. The sauce is already seasoned, but you already know I'm adding my touch to it. I'm going to do a little bit of Italian seasoning. I'm going to do a little bit of oregano leaves. Just a little bit. Because I want my spaghetti to have that real Italian taste I'm just putting a little bit of these just a little bit not a lot all right and of course y'all know parsley okay all our time is going off I'm putting about a tablespoon of everything pretty much tablespoon of all our little that uh, Parmesan oregano what is this uh, Parmesan Romano putting that in there I'm putting about two tablespoons of that let's get our noodles off okay get those noodles off all right, and those are the only seasons I'm going to add to the uh, sauce. I am going to add a little sugar. I always put sugar in my sauce. <coughs> Excuse me. Anytime I'm dealing with a sauce, a tomato sauce, I always put a little sugar in it. Give me a minute, guys. Let me get over here to the sugar. Hold on one second. And I'll add about a tablespoon of sugar. About a tablespoon of sugar. All right. Get you guys shift back over here. Okay, you guys can see. All right, let me get that all mixed up. And of course, I will taste my sauce to see if there's anything else I need to add. Because you guys have to remember, this isn't any old regular spaghetti. This is loaded spaghetti. So y'all already know this spaghetti is going to be off the chain. Y'all already know I'm going to be extra. Y'all already know I'm adding all kind of crazy stuff. It's not your average regular spaghetti. No ma'am, no ma'am, no sir. This is loaded spaghetti. Loaded. So y'all know what that means. When I say loaded, if y'all know my channel by now, if I say loaded, it's going to have all kind of extras. Let's get this mixed up real good. I'm going to go ahead and give it a taste. That's good. But I need a little bit more. I need more garlic. I need more garlic flavor. So I'm going to go in with my garlic pepper. My garlic pepper seasoning. I'm going to go ahead with that my garlic pepper seasoning I'm gonna add that because I need a little bit more garlic flavor I'm not getting enough garlic you know so I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of garlic pepper and that should do the trick for us that should do it I'm gonna stir that up in real good and I'm gonna taste it Let's see if that did it. I'm sure it did. Let me taste. That was it. That is what I needed. Okay, I'm gonna cut the heat off. Let's get my fan off. All right, so we've got our sauce ready. We've gotta get those meatballs out because I know the meatballs are ready. 
me cut the stove off so those meatballs can stop cooking but right now I'm gonna go ahead and drain my noodles let me move those over so I can drain those We've got our noodles draining over there. Let's go ahead and pull out. Let me back you guys up. Let's go ahead and get those. Um, let's get our meatballs pulled out the oven. Yes. Meatballs already. The meatballs are already. Uh, meatballs are sizzling. All right. Uh oh. Don't be trying to run away, meatball. Oh, yes. The meatballs are nice and hot. 15 minutes in the oven. Perfect. Our meatballs are all nice and ready. Let me bring you guys in so you can see those meatballs. All nice and golden brown and ready. All right. So when I come back, we're going to build this loaded spaghetti okay guys i'm back let's get ready to build our loaded spaghetti so the first thing i'm gonna do and just so you guys know i did add two tablespoons of butter to my noodles two tablespoons of butter first thing i'm doing is putting down some sauce this is going to be like you guys are going to see me layer it it's going to be just like you're building a lasagna it's going to be the same method Okay. Get our sauce down here. Let's get a nice thin layer of sauce down. Okay, we've got that down. Okay. Let me make sure you guys can see. Okay, you can see great. All right, so the next thing we want to do, noodles are still hot. Now, let me tell you guys before I forget, I did break my noodles in half. I broke my noodles in half so they could be smaller. For this particular recipe, y'all know I created it, I made it up. Um, I felt that breaking the noodles in half <clears throat> would be easier, you know, for this recipe. Make it easier to eat, so. All right, give me a second. Let's get our pasta in here. We're gonna put down a layer of pasta. As you guys can see, we're only gonna make two layers. Only making two layers for this. Get the pasta down, I'm just gonna spread it out. Don't forget, like I said, I did break my pasta in half. You can use whatever pasta you want with this. You can use uh, wheat uh, pasta, whatever kind of pasta you want. Okay, so we've got our first layer of pasta down. Let's move this pasta out of the way. All right, so next thing we wanna do, we wanna get our meatballs down. And I like doing the meatballs this way uh, that way I can control where the meatballs go, you know? And they can be how I want them to be instead of just all over the place. This way I can line my noodles up. I mean my meatballs up. We've got tons of meatballs, so... This is going to be loaded, like I said, loaded. Loaded spaghetti. So our first layer will have one tray of meatballs. And the second layer will have its own layer of meatballs also. These meatballs are hot. Okay. Woo, woo, woo. Hot, hot, hot. All right, let's 
get our meatballs all spread it out. Nice layer of meatballs. Ooh wee. Let's get them all pushed down, settled down in the pasta. That's the trick. Get them pushed down in the pasta, in the sauce, you know. All right, so now, let me make sure you guys can see. All right, so now we're gonna add some pepperoni. <clears throat> we get a handful of pepperonis here. Gonna do a layer of pepperonis. Loaded spaghetti, guys, loaded. This spaghetti is going to be delicious. Do your layer of pepperonis here. <clears throat> and we're going to do the second layer the exact same way. Sauce down, pasta down, meatballs, pepperonis. In case I forget to tell you guys, I've got my oven at 375 degrees. I'm going to put this in the oven. It's just so everything's already cooked. The only reason why I put it in the oven is so that our cheese, because of course I'm going to be putting cheese in this, so that our cheese can melt and bring everything together. Bring everything together, like a, you know, kind of like a casserole kind of thing. Right, let's make sure we get it low head loaded because this is loaded spaghetti that we are cooking loaded spaghetti straight from Italy well Florida yeah <laughs> straight from Florida but yeah let me finish getting these pepperonis in here yes oh that's good that's real good let me get my hands washed real quick y'all can't tell me that don't look delicious. You can't tell me that don't look delicious. So now let's do our second layer. Let's go ahead. We're going to add that sauce. We add in sauce because remember we want sauce to get on all this anyway. We want the sauce on the meatballs and the pepperoni. Just going to take it across like that. Make sure our pepperonis. And our sausage is getting that sauce. Make sure those meatballs are getting covered. Oh yeah. Nice thin layer. Alright. Now let's get the rest of our pasta. Like I said, we're going to do it the same way. Same way we layered that bottom layer. Make sure you get your pasta spread it around. Take your spoon. You can take a fork. Make sure you get your pasta all nicely spread around. You don't want a big hunk of pasta. So make sure you take your spoon and you just move that pasta all around. Spread it around. You want to make sure those pastas get spread around evenly. You don't want a big chunk of pasta. You don't want that. So, all right, y'all see how we got that? Got that. Let's get it all down. Looking good. So, of course, same thing we did on the other layer. Let's get our meatballs down. Oh yeah. Meatballs all around here. Do our meatballs. Oh, these meatballs smell so good. They taste so good. I love the flavor, the Italian flavor that the meatballs have. That's what I really love. The flavor of the meatballs. Meatballs don't need too much help. They don't need too much help. 
Ooh, we we got tons of meatballs. We doing a bag for each layer. All right, meatball right there. You need some meatball. You need some meatball. Okay. Okay. Ooh, this thing is packed with meatballs. Oh, that's looking good, y'all. That's looking real good. Oh, my Lord. Y'all see it now. Y'all see it. I'm telling y'all, I just be coming up with stuff. I be coming up with stuff. Okay, so let's get the pepperonis on there. Go ahead and get these pepperonis on here real quick, y'all. Let's get our pepperonis all over. Hurry up and get these pepperonis down. These pepperonis all over because we've got that layer of sauce to put down and we've got to add our cheese. And the reason why we're putting the sauce, you know, I put a little extra sauce because we don't want our noodles to dry out. We don't want our pasta to go dry. But like I said, it's not going to be in the oven that long. I'm just putting it in the oven long enough for that cheese to melt. That's all. Long enough for this cheese to melt across the top. All right. Okay. We've got enough pepperonis. Look at that goodness. Look at that goodness, y'all. Look at it. Oh, y'all can see it real good. All right. So. All right. So I've got all that done. We're gonna put our cheese across. I'm gonna put our cheese across here, guys. Give me one second. Let me take a picture for the gram before I um take a picture for the gram before I go ahead and add that layer of cheese. You guys are seeing it here first. Let me put, hold on, let me put the parsley on first. Oh no, we got to put the parsley on. Let's get our parsley down. I'm sure I'll put parsley across the top again. You see, y'all seeing it, how, how it all comes together. check that picture out okay that's a good picture all right so let's go ahead and get our sauce and cheese on all right our last bit of sauce putting it across the top like that Last bit of sauce. Mm, 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 mm. Oh yeah. Oh, that's gonna be real good. Mm, 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 mm. All right, let's move that out the way. All right, and last but not least, our cheese. Get that cheese across the top. We want it real cheesy. Oh yeah. We want it nice and cheesy. Well you already know, cheese is gonna melt down anyway. The cheese is gonna melt down, so. Don't let all the cheese fool you. And we got another whole layer down there that's gonna need some cheese, so. 
Oh, this looks amazing. This looks so good. Let's get the cheese on the sides over here. Let's get the cheese over here. Oh, mm, 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 mm. Ooh, that looks delicious. Get all my cheese out. Y'all know all my cheese. All right, so we got that. Y'all see it? Let me bring y'all over and in a little bit more. Yes. Y'all getting it all. Y'all getting all of it. All of it. Okay. So I am going to add the second bag of cheese. I am going to add it. It will all melt down and give me a nice layer of cheese across the top of this. It seems like a lot of cheese, but it's not. It's going to all melt down. I want a nice layer of cheese across the top here. This, you guys will see when I take it out of the oven, this cheese will all melt down. I want it to melt down into the pasta. It's going to melt down in there. Get down to that second layer for us. Oh, yeah. This is what we want. This cheese is gonna melt. Don't don't think it's a lot of cheese. We want a lot of cheese. I want a lot of cheese. So yes, making this whole top layer straight up cheese. All right. Okay. Looking good. All right. Okay. All right, let's get it all fixed up and cleaned up on our sides. Let's get the cheese, get all the cheese in there. We don't want no cheese on the side of our pan. So we got it all in there. Ooh, wait, that look good. I can't wait till all that cheese go to melting. Oh, baby. All right, let's add the star to show, child, because he over here crying. Ah, so let's go ahead and add parsley, child. Go ahead and get him that last, last icing on the top. All right. Well, you know what I mean. Topping on the uh, lotus spaghetti. That's parsley, child. And we're going to add a lot of parsley here because we need the greenery. We need the, the beautiful green. All right. Let's go ahead and get that last picture for the gram. Oh yeah, oh yeah, with the meatball sticking out the side, with the pepperoni. Oh yeah, let's get that for the gram. Oh, that's a good picture. Yep, that's a good picture for the gram, y'all. Y'all will see it when I post it on the gram. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get it in the oven, 375 degrees for about 15 minutes. We, I just want that cheese to get nice and melted and get that brown color across the top. That's all I want, 375 for 15 minutes, guys. I'll be back for the final finale. Okay, guys, this is our grand finale, 375 degrees. I end up cooking it for 20 minutes so I can get that nice brown across the top that I wanted. And, of course, I didn't show you guys me cooking the garlic toast. Publix garlic toast, 375 degrees for 6 minutes. Quick and easy, guys. I was just focused on this loaded spaghetti. Y'all know I'm taking y'all in. This is a shame before God to look so good, but no good. Like saying that now anyway loaded spaghetti guys loaded spaghetti y'all saw everything that went into it and see what I mean by that top layer of cheese it's melted all the way down into our loaded spaghetti oh my god y'all know I gotta take y'all in to see look at this goodness look at this goodness that God has blessed us to see mm -mm -mm -mm. Be thankful, y'all. Be thankful. Word of the day, be thankful. Because there are some people who don't have, who would love to have. Be thankful for everything you have. Whether you think it's little or big. It's little to you, but it's big to somebody else. Be thankful. Always be thankful. I thank God every day. I say, God, please keep me humble and help me stay thankful for everything. Be thankful for everything, y'all. Always. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, look at that brown. Look at that brown crust across the side. Ooh. Let me 
me get a garlic bread some love, y'all. I ain't forgot about that garlic bread. Ooh, yes. Mm, 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 mm. All right. Seen me do it? So you know I did it. This is Erica Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Erika Misha. And don't forget, guys, knowledge is power. All right, guys. Bye.